Oh, oh! Whoa! Melina! Wow. She took a really bad angle on that. Good lord, what a spot. Welcome back. It's a brand new episode of Royally Rumbled's 2008 Universe Mode. My name is Jordan. I'm Robert, and we are in week two of October in our 2008 Universe Mode. What do we got going on now, Jordan? What's on the horizon? On the horizon, Robert, I'm glad you bring that up. It's Cyber Sunday, so we're going to need everybody's help voting for those matches. So maybe if you stay tuned for the end of this video, You'll get to learn what matches you're getting at Cyber Sunday, but we have to get into what happened on the shows this week. Robert, take us through Monday Night Raw. Let's head to the ring in Cincinnati. In the first match on Monday Night Raw, we had Carlito taking on Lance Cade with his tag partner Trevor Murdoch. Cade hits a face buster right out of the gate on Carlito, but Carlito is able to gain some momentum back, drilling Cade with a back suplex. Murdoch slid a chair into the ring, but Cade was never able to capitalize on it. We saw Carlito land a crazy missile drop kick from the top rope and followed it up with a backstabber for the pinfall. Randy Orton hits the ring for his match against Evan Bourne, with the new tag team champion Ziggler and Morrison in tow. It looks like Randy is going to attempt to explain his actions again. Hopefully we get some answers this week. Everyone keeps asking me why I did it. Randy. Why would you align yourself with Dolph Ziggler and John Morrison? Randy, why did you attack JTG? What's the reason for doing their bidding? Huh, I didn't align myself with them. They came to me. They needed my guidance. And look what happened mere weeks after sitting under my learning tree. They finally live up to their potential and capture the World Tag Team Championships. I lead by example. I got in the ring with JTG to remind everyone in the back that the Apex Predator is at the top of the food chain. I'm teaching Ziggler and Morrison things that were passed down to me from legends. Legends like my father, Cowboy Bob Ory. Guys like Ric Flair. Only I'm leaving out the tips he gave me on how to become a washed up, broken old man clinging to the past for relevancy. You can boo all you like. It makes absolutely no difference to me. Whether you like it or not, I've created a legacy for myself. At Cyber Sunday, Crime Time wants a rematch for their tag titles. Well, this is my team now, and I'm gonna be standing across the ring too. It won't matter who you idiots choose as their partner. JTG and Shad, are going to find out just how serious we are about winning and creating a lasting legacy. Because the only gold they're going to leave with will be on the teeth I punt down their throats. The crowd continues to boo and just rain boos down on Randy Orton. But the tune changes when Evan Bourne's music hits and he comes to the ring. Randy Orton doesn't seem to take Bourne as a threat at first, but Bourne holds his own for a bit before Orton cuts him off. Randy Orton picks apart Evan Bourne at every turn and eventually hits a rope hung DDT, but Bourne gets the shoulder up at two. Randy stalks him and puts him away after an RKO. After the match, Orton celebrates before attacking Bourne with a steel chair. William Regal accompanies Kane and Umaga to the ring for their next match, and it's the first time that they are entering together as one unit and they are taking on two local enhancement talents. The local talents hold their own for quite an alarming amount of time, landing a huge backdrop and getting in some sweet indie tag moves before Umaga eventually regains control and ends it with a vicious Samoan spike. Like him or not, William Regal has a great eye for talent. Even the enhancement guys he gets for his team are good. JBL approaches Jeff Hardy in the locker room area and a fight breaks out. JBL puts the boots to Jeff before drilling him with a clothesline from hell. JBL got out of there before any referees could locate them to pull him apart. The World Heavyweight Champion Triple H is in the ring and he wanted to address the WWE Universe and some choice people in the back. 
I'm going to cut right to the chase. William Regal is goading the wrong bull. He's shaking the wrong cage. He's picking a fight that he fails to realize he cannot win. You see, I know what comes with being the world heavyweight champion. I've been at the top of the mountain. Hell, I am the top of the mountain. I know that this belt puts a target on my back, but what I've never seen is a posh little bloke who refuses to get his own hands dirty. I put you down with ease a few weeks back, Regal, and I didn't even know you were coming. So what did you do? You immediately ran for backup. You put Kane in front of me, and I took him down. You put Umaga in front of me, and I took him down too. Any other monsters up the sleeves of that ridiculous robe you wear to the ring? You better hope not, for their sake. It's pretty easy to see what you're trying to accomplish here. Face the facts, Regal. I am already a step ahead of you. At Cyber Sunday, I'm putting my World Heavyweight Championship on the line. And it doesn't matter if they vote for Kane or Umaga, but I hope, I hope they vote for you because I'm going to kick your ass. You want to play, Regal? Game on. I can't believe, I can't believe Triple H said that. We have the main event for Monday Night Raw coming right up. It is Kelly Kelly versus Layla. Let's head to the ring. Here we go. Out comes one half of Lay Cool, Layla, and she is taking on Kelly Kelly in this match for the number one contendership for the women's championship. That's right, Robert. Uh, these two were involved in a triple threat match along with Ashley Massaro last week on Raw, uh, which saw Kelly Kelly actually pick up the win after throwing Layla to the outside and pinning Ashley. So Layla, as I understand, is not happy about the, the end result of that match. She's not. She specifically requested this match because she was not involved in the result last week. So she wanted to prove to herself and everyone else that she should be the number one contender for the women's championship. But she's got a tough road ahead of her with Kelly Kelly, the former SmackDown uh, women's superstar, coming over to Monday Night Raw and having a hell of a time so far. Yeah, I mean, Kelly's been on a roll. She was doing pretty well for herself on SmackDown for a little while, but needed to change things up. And that she did. She was involved in a trade with Natalia. Natalia yep. went from Raw to SmackDown, Kelly Kelly going from SmackDown to Raw, and has now found herself in a match with title implications on the line. She did it once last week. Uh, she's so nice. She was named twice, but can she <laughs> win twice? That's what I want to know, Robert. I think she can, but we don't have much longer to wait to find out. Here we go. Not Charles Robinson's going to ring the bell. Here we go. Bell sounds and a collar elbow tie up starts the match. Layla backing Kelly up. And not Charles Robinson separating the two here. Layla's been teaming with Michelle McCool for a while. McCool very adept in the ring. So I think maybe she's been picking up some of her tips and tricks. Well, Michelle McCool, a former women's champion, uh, Mickey James actually defeating Michelle McCool for that championship. And I'm Ooh. sure Layla would love nothing more than to get her hands on Mickey for that. Definitely. They have some history here, but back in the ring, Kelly Kelly with the head scissors and then the huge elbow to the face. Oh, and a running drop kick right to the spine finds its mark. Kelly Kelly's fired up here, Robert. She is, and the crowd's fired up. Look at them all on their feet. Oh! A jumping Hurricane Rana there. From Layla out of nowhere, and then now she's... 
Kelly Kelly cuts her off. Oh, but Layla reverses once more. And now Kelly's in trouble. These two are just so willing to put themselves on the line here to try to get to that title match, just to get into the title match. Oh, and there's Kelly Kelly with that jawbreaker. Huge bulldog. And she's shooting the half for the cover here. One. Wow. Layla refusing to stay down. And Kelly just kicks her right in the back again and, and back to the head scissors. This is a good move from Kelly here, just staying on target and a yeah, textbook uh, Russian leg sweep. She's keeping the gap closed. She wants to stay on top of Layla as close as possible. And you have to imagine Mickey oh. James watching Ooh. this match as Layla plans Kelly Kelly's head into the mat and Kelly is able uh -oh. to just successfully <laughs> avoid it. Wow. What a sequence there. Kelly Kelly went to the outside and then slid back in. Layla was in the middle of taunting to the crowd here in Cincinnati and she got dropped. And now trying to rip the arms out of the sockets. And Layla back up to her feet and throws oh, Kelly and by the just... hair. Layla turning on the viciousness now. I think that's what she's learned most from Michelle McCool is how to be vicious in the ring. Oh. Well, here's returning the favor, the head scissors, but Kelly able to wriggle out of it. Oh. What a stiff kick to the side of the head. But wow. Kelly reverses. Tilt-a-whirl, uh -oh. head scissors. Oh, my God. Connects. <laughs> Huge. Cover. One, two, three. Kelly Kelly is going to Cyber Sunday. She will take on Mickey James, the women's champion. What kind of match will they have? That's a really good question, Robert. I, You're going to have to think on it, I feel like. Um... Well, when Cyber Sunday, it's around Halloween, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, because because we're in week two of October right now. So by that's week right. four, that's pretty much spooky Halloween. season. Maybe they will have to have their title match in Halloween costumes. Ah, I like I like it. OK. And there's the head scissors that put Layla away. Kelly Kelly, like we said, the number one contender for the women's championship versus Mickey James. Huge, huge victory for Kelly. She beat Ashley Massaro and Layla last week. This week, she comes out on top yet again. And now has Mickey James at Cyber Sunday. Choose the Halloween costumes, folks. Kelly blowing a, a kiss to a one lucky fan in the audience there. Huge, huge victory for Kelly Kelly there. She is going to Cyber Sunday. She is facing Mickey James. Uh, but we're not done quite yet. We've still got to go through SmackDown. Jordan, what happened on SmackDown this week? Well, let's head over Hershey, Pennsylvania oh. for Friday Night SmackDown. SmackDown is live from the sweetest place on earth. Hershey PA, baby. This week, we get a singles match between Bobby Lashley and Tyson Kidd kicking off the show. Kidd picks Lashley's leg and takes him to the mat, attempting to wear down the bigger athlete. Lashley gets up and backs Kidd into the corner, forcing Not Charles Robinson to separate the two. After botching a spot, Lashley rocks Kidd with a straight punch to the face and begins overpowering him from there, hitting a belly-to-belly -belly suplex along with a gorilla press slam. Kid tries to use his speed and submission skills against Lashley, but Lashley maintains control despite several attempts from the cardio kid. 
Lashley catches Kidd with a stalling suplex, which is enough to put Tyson Kidd away, handing the Hart Dynasty their third collective loss in two weeks. After a frustrating loss to Mr. Kennedy and The Miz last Friday, Captain Charisma and Shelton Benjamin go one-on-one to prove a point. A hard-hitting and physical match unfolds as both superstars look to prove who the better man is. The Miz shows up and hits Shelton with a skull-crushing finale while the referee's back is turned. Christian hits a frog splash and goes for a kill switch, but Shelton reverses. Christian pushes Shelton into the corner and lands a drop kick. Shelton hits a pay dirt for a near fall. Shelton contemplates what he needs to do next as he takes a minute to taunt the crowd in Hershey. Desperate, Shelton resorts to using his feet on the ropes for leverage during a pin on Captain Charisma, but Christian kicks out and can't believe Shelton tried to beat him like that. Christian counters Shelton and lands a reverse DDT for the three count. Who will challenge The Miz at Cyber Sunday? Christian, Shelton, or both? Back from a commercial break, and we are joined by Edge in the ring, who comments on being removed from the King of the Ring tournament. This past Sunday, I was supposed to compete in the King of the Ring tournament. I was supposed to become a two-time King of the Ring winner. I was supposed to be the next in line for a WWE Championship match. Instead, John Cena decided to follow me to the building in Philadelphia and planned on costing me my shot. I was not going to let him do that to me. Not again. But instead of taking my rightful place on that throne, I'm kicked out of the tournament and replaced by... Matt Hardy? And then the icing on the cake, I'm not even included as an option for the WWE Championship match at Cyber Sunday. I'm starting to think that SmackDown management is purposefully holding me back, and you people love to see it. Edge, I'm going to level with you for a minute. I did come to Philadelphia to kick your ass, but I was going to wait until after you lost to Kofi Kingston in the first round, just like you lost to him at SummerSlam. Least I was booked and had a match at SummerSlam. Fair enough. Look, it's one thing to blame your shortcomings on me, but don't blame your problems on the WWE Universe. Their opinion matters. Their voice matters. And we're three weeks away from the one night a year they get to decide our fate. So, it got me thinking. How about at Cyber Sunday, we get back in this ring and settle it? Cena, you... You don't get it. I've beaten you already. I beat you in the middle of this ring last week on SmackDown. I don't have anything else to prove against you. I want the WWE Championship. How many times have we already gone to war? You know the story between us is far from over. So why not go to war one more time? And we sweeten the pot. You want the WWE Championship? So do I. How do we solve this conundrum? I'll tell you how. Edge versus Cena at Cyber Sunday. Winner becomes number one contender. What do you say? What do I say? Oh, so now you're the GM? You make matches now? Oh wait, of course you'll still get your way. You're the great and powerful John Cena. Enough of the charade, John. I'm finished pretending that you're even on the same level as me. You're on. It doesn't matter what kind of match you want. I want you to be ready for a fight. Oh, it won't be up to me. It'll be up to the WWE Universe. Hope you're ready. See you in Phoenix. After making a surprise debut in the King of the Ring tournament, Matt Hardy is thrilled to be back on SmackDown, but his return match to the Blue Brand pits him against one half of the Major Brothers, Zack Ryder. Hardy and Ryder fight for control early on before Matt hits a clothesline and a bulldog. Matt Hardy connects with a side effect, 
but Ryder is barely able to get out of it before three. Hardy stalks his opponent before connecting with a classic twist of fate. He floats over and covers Ryder for the pinfall victory in a successful return performance. The semi-main event sees the WWE Champion Booker T teaming up with one of his possible opponents for Cyber Sunday in the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. The two face off against the other two possible Cyber Sunday opponents, former WWE Champion Chris Jericho and current King of the Ring Champion The Big Show. Jericho and Booker start the match off with Jericho getting a bunch of offense in. Shawn tags in and he and Booker team up on Jericho. Michaels and Jericho exchange moves before Jericho tags out to the big show. The King of the Ring starts pummeling HBK and before long connects with a spear and covers him for the pinfall victory. Jericho wins. Interesting things happening there, but the show's gonna get even bigger as we have the Divas Championship on the line. SmackDown newcomer Alicia Fox gets a title match against the champion Melina, and it's going down right now. So let's head to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Divas Championship. Thank you, JoJo, for those uh, wonderful announcing skills. But ladies and gentlemen, this is Alicia Fox. She's the winner of the SmackDown Divas Showcase Battle Royal from No Mercy. She showed up on the scene, uh, took everyone by surprise. It came down to her and Tori Wilson. But ultimately, Alicia, the newcomer, getting the win, securing a future championship opportunity and gets to cash in on that opportunity tonight against the Divas champion, Melina. It's a, it's a huge opportunity for her um, to be able to come in cold, off the street, new fresh face, and shoot right to the top of the women's division over on SmackDown. That's, that's a feat. And out comes the woman who's taken SmackDown by storm. It's the Divas champion, Melina. She looks so good with that title, Robert. She, Yeah, that that title looks like it's at home on, on her waist, I feel like, to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, we asked a question earlier. Uh, who comes to mind when you think about the Divas Butterfly Championship. Um, Melina was named. Michelle McCool was named. People like Kelly Kelly were named as well. But overall, Melina in 2008 has been nothing short of dominant. Yeah, and her matches have all almost all been like certifiable classics. <laughs> <laughs> All of her uh, matches on every pay-per-view, if you go back to our uh, playlist here and check them out, um, they've been phenomenal. So I'm very excited to see where this one goes. Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox. Only her second uh, SmackDown singles match here. From Los Angeles, California. She is the Melina's got her game face on. Champion, she is, she's ready. <laughs> well, like we said before, uh, her pay-per-view performances, her title match performances have all been stellar. I'm really excited to watch this match, Robert, personally. Me too. Not Charles Robinson showing Alicia Fox what is up for grabs. There it is, the Divas Championship. What an upset it would be. If Alicia really? Fox yeah. were to knock off the champion here. Maybe Melina's not taking her too seriously there. Here she goes. Okay, here we go. And a running leg lariat opens the match, but Alicia Fox is able to counter and oh. wait a minute. Oh, oh my, my God. God. What an elevated backbreaker. Alicia Fox has been putting in some work in her off time. Oh, my God goodness look at this shining wizard 
She's got the crowd popped. Dude, it's the newest SmackDown diva. Oh. Foxy not letting Melina stop her here. A debuting uh, off the ropes. And now Alicia Fox still in control, but invites Melina back in the ring and gets caught with those kicks. The educated feet of Melina. Oh. Shoulders down. Robert, you mentioned her pay-per-view performances before Melina defeating Beth Phoenix to become the second Divas champion here in 2008 in our universe mode. Uh, But I think Alicia Fox has a pretty good chance of becoming the third Divas champion tonight. I mean, right now she's face down, so it doesn't look too good, but she has uh, momentum on her side. She has surprise on her side. Melina doesn't really know how to prepare for somebody like Alicia Fox. She hasn't seen much of her work yet. That's true. And Melina's work has been there from the beginning. Two. Foxy kicks out. And, and Alicia Fox has been hanging around with Tori Wilson a little bit, too. Could potentially be getting some tips from uh, that legendary diva. That's true. And now Melina trying to rip her arms off before she could make anything happen for herself. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to wear down Alicia Fox. And just just gives up on it. Oh, oh. whoa, Melina completely missing a handspring back elbow. Good Lord, what a spot. She took a really bad angle on that. It's unlike her, but it may be Foxy's in her head. Oh! Tilt to world backbreaker connects. Perfectly executed. And the champion's in trouble. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Oh, she just tosses her over, unceremoniously dumps the champion onto the ground. Now it's not gonna win a championship on the outside of the ring for you, but it it can help inflict some damage. Really wear your opponent down. Ooh, ooh. Looks like... Melina looks like she's in a Jackie Chan movie. (laughs) And now Melina throws Alicia Fox over the barricade to the outside into the WWE Universe. And she doesn't care if Foxy gets uh, counted out because it's still a win for her. The champion's advantage. Not Charles Robinson up to seven, but she gets in the ring and breaks the count. Uh-oh. Northern Lights with the bridge. One, two. Oh, we oh, almost man. had a new champion. I definitely thought we were going to have a new champion there. And Foxy picks her up and drops her down. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Oh, here comes the scissor kick. Oh, connects the axe kick. Uh Uh-oh. New champ, new champ, new champ. Two. No. Melina gets the shoulders up. She got the shoulders up and then she just laid on her side for a minute. She's really trying to catch her breath. (laughs) Melina able to counter. Oh, but Foxy counters the leg lariat. Going to the top. Melina didn't even know where she was for a second. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Melina's on the She's top in the rope. High rent district. What's gonna happen? Uh-oh. Oh, calling for Alicia to get up. Oh no. Oh wow. Bionic elbow from the top rope to the outside. Probably the safest move that she could have done. <laughs> I think we all breathe a, a small sigh of relief. <laughs> hey, it's 2008. We couldn't let the women outperform the men at this point, all right? Yes. They'd be she showing them up. Moon, she couldn't do a moonsault like her or anything. Crazy. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. And uh, fist shades drop. of Jerry the King Lawler with the fist drop <laughs> from the top rope. <laughs> Stalking her opponent sets her up. 
Sunset oh. Split! The Divas Champion covers! Title on the line! One, two, three. And Melina three. retains the title, and she will be going on to Cyber Sunday to defend it. But against who? That's the question. Melina wanted competition. She got that in the form of Alicia Fox. And uh -oh, wait a minute. Uh -oh. There's a development here. Alicia. Foxy. Wow. Look and a handshake. Look at that. What a show on SmackDown you've got going. The Divas division is firing on all cylinders. And this just proves it. The Divas are where it's at in 2008. And what a show of respect uh, from Melina to Fox to, to to shake her hand. So Alicia Fox is essentially made now on SmackDown. Respect earned. Uh, Divas champion Melina giving her seal of approval to the newest diva on SmackDown, Alicia Fox. Uh, but like I said, Cyber Sunday still to come. We don't know who she's going to challenge, but... I have a few ideas. How about we take two of the top superstars on SmackDown and put them in the ring with Divas Champion Melina? We take Tori Wilson and Natalia, make it a triple threat match, but what kind of triple threat match? Do we make it a traditional triple threat match? Do we make it an elimination triple threat match? Or do we make it a Falls Count Anywhere triple threat match? It's up to you guys. You let us know. Well, sticking with the women for a minute here, Monday Night Raw has a women's championship match on the card at Cyber Sunday. We've got Mickey James and we've got Kelly Kelly, but we don't know what they will be wearing because they are doing the gimmick Halloween costume match. <laughs> Will they be wearing astronaut costumes? Will they be dressed as WWE legends? Or will they be dressed as superheroes? It is up to you. The United States Championship will be on the line as The Miz is set to defend against Christian, Shelton Benjamin, or both of them. The choice is yours. And as we heard in Randy Orton's promo, he will be in the corner of the tag team champions Dolph Ziggler and John Morrison in a six man tag match for the tag team championships. But who will team with the challengers crime time? Will it be Mr. Money in the Bank, Kofi Kingston, Evan Bourne or CM Punk? It's been a blood feud so far between Edge and John Cena. It all comes to a head at Cyber Sunday. Will they face off in either A, a no holds barred match, B, a first blood match, or C, a street fight? And at Cyber Sunday, we have Triple H defending the World Heavyweight Championship in a singles match. But what we need you to determine is who he will be facing. Will it be the mastermind behind it all, William Regal, Kane, or Umaga, the Intercontinental Champion? And finally, in the main event, the WWE Championship is on the line as Booker T is set to defend against either A, the King of the Ring, The Big Show, B, Shawn Michaels, or C, the former champion, Chris Jericho. It's up to you guys to decide, so please comment below who you want to see. We're going to post a poll eventually on Twitter and Instagram, Facebook. Stay tuned for all those details coming to you very, very soon. Yes. But until then, let's enjoy the this little build that we have yeah. towards Cyber Sunday. We have two weeks to go. As always, make sure you're following us on YouTube so you never miss an episode. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so when the videos do release, you do not miss them. Yeah, and if you would like to follow us on social media, at Royally Rumbled, like I said before, we're going to be running polls and have dedicated times for when you could vote 
Before then, you could follow us individually. I, Robert, am on Instagram and Twitter at Yesball. And I, Jordan, am on Instagram and Twitter at JL24FPS. So thank you very much for watching. Like I said before, comment below your votes here on YouTube because yeah. uh, those votes will count immediately. But we will not reveal the winners of each poll until the pay-per-view airs. So you will not know who wins across all of our social media because we're going to be tallying them together. Yes. Uh, so stay tuned for that. So as always, my name is Jordan. I'm Robert. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on the very next episode in 2008.